Honestly, honestly, what, what is going on? Look, I'm literally crying physical tears. Did you know there was a monsoon season in Arizona? Is this even Arizona? You guys, welcome back to another episode of On The Flip and even more specifically, part two of an epic three-part mini-series within a series that we're doing where we're renovating our Airbnb, which we're calling Racy Resorts. I can't breathe. Whoa, that was a mouthful. <laughs> In the last video, we showed you the whole house on day one, and then this video, it's all about the exterior. I'm actually so excited about it, and it adds so much charm to this place as an Airbnb. But before we get to that, you guys, if you're new here, please subscribe, join the party, click that bell so that you get the notifications, because next week's like the big reveal reveal. <sighs> That was a labor of love for the big reveal reveal. This house to be done, inside, outside, and in between. It's only taken 500 oh years. Oh my gosh, I'm excited, I'm done with this. So let's talk about the exterior or the outside of this house when we first got it. I'm just gonna give you a few things that pop to my mind, to okay. my memory. First off, there was just a lot of greenery, which I love, but there were several trees tied to the house with ropes, which just feels like structurally probably not a great idea. I agree. There was the patio outside, which was basically like a greenery coffin. Like, I felt like I was going to die inside that patio. I love vegetation in general, but there can be wrong and misplaced and wrong types of greenery. <laughs> Especially if they become like a homeland to an overwhelming population of animal life. And weeds and stuff that's got tons of allergens in it, making me sneeze and catching dog hair in it. There was a catio, a cat patio on one side of the home, which is great, but we don't have any animals here currently. So the catio had to go. The color of the house was pretty bleak. There was a chain link fence surrounding the house, which works if you're trying to keep stuff in or out, but isn't aesthetically the most gorgeous. Well, with the weather in Arizona, we know people like to spend time outside, so we wanted the outside and living space on the front to be just super relaxing, but colorful, but comfortable and private. But what else? <laughs> Who's liking that? But y'all, I don't know. <laughs> so here's the thing, guys. Arizona during the summer is a hot inferno. You should not go outdoors. You should stay inside at all costs. But during the rest of the year, this is very much a place where people are outside as much as they are inside. So it was important to us that the outside of the house was a place that people really wanted to hang out, have barbecues. We wanted to make it like pretty comfortable. We knew we couldn't do a pool because it's just not in the budget at the moment, but could we create these little moments these vignettes for people? And the answer I hope is yes. Me too. I'm excited about the wall though. That's still like one of my favorite things outside. So in case you are new here, you don't know that we are two totally delusional people who believe we can do anything. We don't really know how to do this. Kind of, not really, I mean, but. I don't know how to do it. Here, do go in this it? gap right here on the side. Including taking an entire side of the home and turning it into a custom mural, which we did and which you will see. Two of the major things that were exterior was we needed a new roof, which kind of sucks because it's expensive, but it was cool because we got to choose the color. So we went with a black roof because we thought it popped against the house. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing we did was add an entire new AC unit, which also sucks on the budget, but in Arizona, it's necessary. We did a really fun pop of color on the door, which you guys, if you're following our account at Reese Resorts on Instagram, actually helped pick the color and it looks freaking cute. And then the mural, we already teased it, but you know in an Airbnb, you need a place for Instagram photos for those TikTokery moments. Maybe you're making a YouTube video. It's like, you need a place to have that moment happen and we were super hopeful that the mural would become that, and I feel like we actually executed. I agree, it is, as you say, Shev's gaze. <laughs> and OMG, do you remember when you just used your sheer like brute force to tear the patio down? Oh my gosh, let's look at that again. Do you remember that <laughs> yeah, video? I do. fun to rebuild this bench, probably. Just replace the wood if we wanted it. 
taken down the cat terrarium. escape. Cat terrarium. terrarium. This is all coming down because it's pretty gross. We made it into like this fantasy land. What's this place called? We're in the middle of the des, yet we're in like a fairy tale. It's called Barrage Nursery. Have you ever seen Secret Garden, the movie, no. or read the book? Oh my gosh, you're so missing out. But we're just checking out some plants. Your favorite plant daddy. Plant zaddy. Oh, I'm sorry, plant zaddy. Let's find some plants. $455 later, your favorite plant zaddy over here has enough plants to keep itself really rocking and rolling for a while. <laughs> Whatever that means. So this is how it works. We're trying to get some gravel for our landscaping. This is cool. You just roll up to this place. They have all these gravel options. You pick one, you get in your truck, and then they just dump it in there? I guess. Okay. Let's go. Which one do we like? Oh, you, you are the picky one on this. <laughs> It's a really funny day at the office when you're like, oh my gosh, what's your favorite dirt? What rock? Yeah. What dirt do you like? <laughs> the dirt I like, I guarantee you, is the most expensive. It's the casual marble. No big deal. That's weighing us just the truck weight so they know how much they add to us to charge us. Okay. So now... This is so random. Literally, like, what? I like it, though, do you? Yeah, it's like you never think about this stuff. This is apparently what it looks like, like that. Does that look too brown to you or are you good? No, I'm fine with it. I think it'll pop with the house. Okay. I like it not being totally white. Whoa, it's about to go down. This tractor is about to hook us up. Wow, as it turns out, there's a lot of like big energy coming from these tractor guys. I'm a little assertive with us about this rock. Back, oh my gosh. He wants us to back up. <laughs> well, look. Hold on, here we go. Whoa! That's what? Crazy. Brad! You look kind of scared. I'm Are a you little okay? nervous. Like I'm seeing a lion right now. Cool! I'm actually scared of that guy, but He's thank a you. Scary. He's just screaming. How did at he, us, so. I didn't even know he how did he already have it in his thing? You know what? He's probably like Santa. He knows when you've been good or bad, <laughs> naughty or nice. So be he good knows, for goodness sake. He knows how many rocks we need. And now he's gone. He's disappeared like Santa and he didn't that even. That was crazy, right? The other crazy thing is that we are now just going to shovel this out ourselves That's in 117 true. degree heat. So we're going to start with three quarters and if we have to come back, we have to come back. So now we weigh ourselves? Yeah, so they can know how much we picked up. Oh, that's genius. Now we go back on the scale. Man, science. And that guy is gone like the wind. <laughs> He is in you another effing came state. And then disappeared. He came over, gave us some rocks, came, screamed at us, and, and then left. yeah. So we're on our way right now to the Airbnb project. And as you guys know, this neighborhood is infiltrated with a lot of chicken life. <laughs> but what we are about to see is like counter to the animal experience. It's like the lion and the lamb laying together. <laughs> and if you want to get like biblical about it. But um, what are we about to see? Let's see. The rabbits and the roosters and the turkeys. What? Oh, look, there's the turkeys. Okay, oh we'll my go. gosh, there's some turkeys right over there. Oh, they're hiding. Right, I'm sorry, the, so over here, y'all. The rabbits in we the have, front. Can you see them? Over there in the bushes. The rabbits with the chicks. There's some rabbits and chickens just coexisting. And then these turkeys up living. here running. And then up here we have a little, oh my gosh, a lot of Thanksgiving. These guys are just running amok. <laughs> Yo, what up y'all? Hey, what kind of trouble are you getting into later? Oh my gosh, I didn't even see all the chickens over there. Are they, is this like the defender of the kingdom? That's why yeah. he's coming to me? Oh wow, wow what is the, going on? Oh my gosh, think, and there's turkeys? Do they think we have food? They must. Turkeys wow. kind of actually scare me. Look at like, that, running at us. That guy's actually kind of terrifying. Oh. When did all these turkeys pop up? This is so weird. This is, they're gorgeous. Look at that. That's like the Kellogg's rooster, right? It is. This guy's coming to kill us right now. I always think they're coming to kill us. We commence the process of Oh man. Getting this in what, here. What, babe? It's like looking like out candy. It looks like cat litter. Is that bad? Oh my gosh. I don't know. 
Do you like it or no? I love it. Look at the contrast. It's so nice. This is all about contrast, babe. It's only going to take about 15 more hours. 45 scoops later. Just got back to Arizona, working at the Reese Resort. Look who's here. Leave me alone. I'm busy. Are you going fishing in that hat or yeah. what's happening? Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to do what I want to do. And it just so happens that what we've told him he wants to do today is take out this bench and put in one that's a lot more aesthetically pleasing, something a little more neutral. We're the thinking a cool wood fence. Is, the super cool thing is, is I happen to want to do that too. So Fantastic. I'm glad we're all aligned. We're going to do a little work on the sprinklers. We're going to build out a patio. We, meaning we have a lot of work to do. We're going to walk on water later and I fly without an airplane too. <laughs> Amen. Let yes. it be done. We decided on a fence design. It's going to be big, small, big, small, big, small, like that across the front for some nice curb appeal. Moment of truth. First piece of fence. Leveling it out. Let's see. Pretty close. Go down slightly. Yeah, that's good. That all right, good. let's all take a step back. Look at your work. Wow. What do you think? So exciting. I mean, this is going to change the game now. It is. Also, you look so good in my L-Space hat. It's going to look way better. We actually, babe, have to seal this wood, though, with waterproofing. Oh, so definitely. Like, wow. Best investment you can ever make, paint sprayer. And this is the stain for the fence to seal it in so that water can't get in there. This paint is Tony, you look like an artist, like making a painting the way you're moving that around. I stepped away from this backyard for literally one minute and the patio is already going in. They're putting in these posts and then you just add a bag of concrete, add water. It's like a set it and forget it. This is like Betty Crocker status. So we're never gonna finish. We're trying to get done here. Just do your thing. All narrate. So how did you do this? Wet the ground and put a shovel in. Well, uh, bought these posts. And now are you just going to pour some cement in there, right? Yep. They're measuring out from the concrete. This should be exactly the same as this. They're getting their tools. No, no, I just didn't know if they poured the concrete. They're preparing well. to insert the stem. I'm just going to go from go this, ahead. from the... Uh, they're discussing things. Well, we can we can do it a couple. I don't ways. mind. Soon to be home of the patio. Honestly, honestly, what, what is going on? Okay, so we're actually out in Arizona for this entire week with the sole purpose of working on the exterior of the house and painting the mural and. Every day, this happens. There's a river on our driveway. You guys, this is Arizona. Did you know there's a monsoon season? Look, I'm literally crying physical tears. Um, I'm sorry. What do we do with this? I can tell you what we don't do. We're not going to be painting the mural because it's going to wash away. Seriously though, we're trying to get this house rented ASAP on Airbnb. And if we can't finish the exterior of the house, I feel like we're getting pushed back so much. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Did you know there was a monsoon season in Arizona? Is this even Arizona? So it's go time. We're about to actually start work on this mural, which I do want to point out that you're a muralist. You've done a mural. Uh, I don't know. No, but you I have done a mural. I have done a mural. Let's see if I can bust it out again. Let's see if it was just a one-time deal. Anyways, let's just be real. Like it can't get worse. Like it already looks pretty bad back here. So honestly, we can really only go up, right? At least the grass is growing. It's just a little long. So step one, clean the wall. The wall is clean. You look like you know what you're doing. What, what are you doing? That's what I'm good at pretending. So you think I do, but I don't. But you already did a huge mural that was a lot more complicated. This is a different technique though. Oh, last, it is? What's this mural, called? I like put it on paper and drew out like a grid uh -huh. to like translate it to the wall. This I'm just trying freehand. What's this system called? The Jushin. The Jushin. Yeah. Have you guys ever heard of this system called the Jushin? Oh, you haven't? That's because it doesn't exist. Yeah. 
the taping is done. The taping is the hardest part, right? Yes. And I say that having done very little of it, but as you can see also, Chris kind of curved the edges of the star, which is something, I don't know, I just thought it would like soften the mural and not make it seem like so rigid. We're inspired obviously by the Arizona State flag with a little bit of a twisty twist. Now we're gonna start painting, but the tape's kind of starting to come off. And we're also nervous about weather. So I would say pray for us, but like, this is in the future, we're in the past. You know how it goes. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. <laughs> we wanna paint these posts and we don't have any lawn equipment. So what are you using? Scissors, kitchen shears. Oh my gosh, the beads of sweat on your head, okay? I'm in a uh, fall internship. Late summer, <laughs> early fall internship, guys. Looks good, though. What this is coming earlier? together. Prisoner with a job. <laughs> You're welcome. Finishing touch on the backyard. What are you gonna do? Gotta sign it with our Instagram handle, of course. Okay. What else does anyone in the internet age do? <laughs> I mean, pics or it didn't happen. If people are not reelsing and TikToking and eye jizzling and Whoa. whatever they do in front of a mural, then we haven't done our job right. Okay, do your thing. <laughs> and after 500 long years of toil, stress, sweat, blood, tears, Drama, <laughs> none, lies, none deception. Of, none of that actually happened. This exterior is finally done, but before we show it to you guys, let's go back in time and just like remind ourselves of the journey we've been on with what this place looked like on day one. And here's what it looks like now. We had to kick it off with the absolute high point. Some would say the Piazza Resistance of this entire house. This mural, which we did, I don't understand how we did this. Are we just can like- Can you believe we did this? No. I can barely believe it. And I love that Chris actually went in and did the little hand painted at Reese Resort. So when people are here posing for their Instagram or doing their- What is that, a TikTok, TikTok dance? TikTok dances. <laughs> they'll know where they are. I just think this is so fun and so cool. I would love to add some lawn games right here in this space. And this patio, which you tore down and then rebuilt, it's amazing. And was this like hard or not so hard? Well, Phil Dog, your dad, yes. helped us to put these posts in. It was pretty simple. We just put some concrete footings in, the posts in, and then snapped up the sails. And these sails are actually just a really affordable and pretty simple way to upgrade your backyard at home. And I think every Airbnb absolutely needs an outdoor space with a little dining area. If you remember, this is a dining set that I found at one of our other rental properties. I mean, it's really great. It works and we're protected from the rain and the sun. We're protected from the rain and the sun, but we have to go up front to the front of the house because there's so many upgrades up there that I'm so excited about. But just imagine being out here, having a barbecue, playing a little cornhole. Maybe you bring your dog, let your dog run about in this backyard, which is fully fenced in. Um, we have a lot of plans back here. We just need to make a little more money. Let's go up front. <laughs> And then the front door of this house. We actually had you guys that follow us on at Reese Resorts vote on this color. And it was either gonna be a mint color or a coral color. I personally loved both, but I'm really glad that you guys selected the mint. I mean, is this not so cool? It's pretty beautiful. This is another Instagram moment. Don't you think so? Yes, mint has always been one of my favorite colors and you didn't even know that. I did not know that. I'm still learning things about my husband, but the mint 
really pops with the brand new exterior color. We just went for like a really bright white. Do you know what color this is? Chantilly Lace. Chantilly Lace is one of our go-tos for interior paint. We've never done it on an exterior. And it's so bright, so white, with the black roof. Mwah, 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 mwah. Also, remember what was right here, babe? Yeah, there were like trees and rat bushes. Ooh, yeah, there was a lot of animal life living out here. And we wanted to do something very desert. So Chris and I did all this landscaping ourselves on a day, by the way, that was 117 oh degrees. Gosh. And yeah, I think it looks really great. Really easy to upkeep, especially for an Airbnb. Absolutely, all these little rocks, we just got loaded into the back of the truck and then we shoveled them out. And come on over here so we can show you what Phil built, okay? This is the fence that Phil Dog built. Phil is my dad, as you guys know. You and him built this fence and I think it adds so much to the place. Yeah, it was just chain link before and then we just kind of cut out the metal links and then uh, put these boards up, it looks amazing. It adds a lot of warmth. I love mixing like textures as far as you have like the metal black fixtures on the front of the house. Then you have the white paint, you have a wood element, you have a lot of natural greenery. It's just really, really pretty and I'm so excited. What's your favorite part of the exterior? For sure door. For sure door. The mint door, look at that. Well, the mint hits that so hard. That color palette of green, black, white, and natural wood is just pops. And of course, we have the fence surrounding the entire house so that the chickens <laughs> kind of just stay out in the street, do a little meet and greet and say hello, and don't actually enter the property because we don't have a coop for them here. So it's really just not a place that they should probably be calling out. If you, here's a question. Yeah. If one of them popped out an egg, would you eat it? Uh, Honestly. I would have to ask their permission first. Okay. Yeah, I would want to make sure that it was like a consensual egg. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? Okay, sure. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, we are dying to hear what you think about the exterior of Reese Resorts. And guess what? Next week, we are revealing this entire place and officially inviting you all to come stay here and be our guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round my neck, Sheree, and we provide the rest. I have to stop singing this, this because from again? <laughs> we don't, it's from Beauty and the Beast, but we don't oh. have the licensing, so I probably have to stop singing. We're gonna get a copyright infringement. Anyways, be sure to come back next time because we're gonna be revealing the finished product. And with that, until next time, mwah. This video is over. Thanks for watching, guys.